Today's video is brought to you by Inflammation Highway Professional Grade Deep Tissue Body Butter made by yours truly. I will include the link in the description below because, well, inflamed triceps. Why am I starting by painting on the scapula if this is an anatomy video about the triceps? Because the triceps have three heads, hence the word tri, and one of them attaches to the scapula, and this is the only one that crosses the shoulder. So let's start with bones. The muscle's full official name, which is triceps brachii, is Latin for three-headed muscle of the arm. So the next thing I'm gonna paint is the humerus. The triceps are not only the biggest muscle of the posterior arm, but they are the biggest muscle of the arm in general, taking up about 60% of the mass of the upper arm. Before I break out my red paint, I want to point out that the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula is the origin for the long head, while the lateral head and the medial head are going to originate on the posterior surface of the humerus, the lateral head being on the proximal half and the medial head being on the distal half. All three converge and cross over the elbow and insert onto the olecranon process of the ulna. I'm starting off by painting the medial head because it is the deepest and because, well, that's how layers work. And as you can see, its origin is really flat on the posterior humerus, and depending on what sources you cite, we're either talking about the inferior or distal half or two-thirds, but for today, I'm going with distal two-thirds. So that leaves the proximal half of the humerus as the origin for the lateral head, and even though that doesn't make sense mathematically, it makes sense with muscle, because sometimes the delineation between two muscles is not entirely clear. And before I dive into the long head of the triceps, I'm painting on the tricep tendon, which is flatter as it lies superficially over the medial head but merges with the medial head tendon to insert onto the olecranon process, also known as the elbow. Fun fact, this is where tricep tendonitis tends to live. And last but definitely not least, tucked underneath the deltoids and between the teres major and the teres minor muscles, the long head of the triceps originates at the infraglenoid tubercle of the scapula, which makes it the only of the three tricep muscles that crosses over the glenohumeral joint, which also makes it the only of the three that you can actually stretch. Here are your triceps, and this is what they do. All three of them work together to create extension of the elbow, and the long head has the extra job of assisting with extension of the shoulder and a deduction of the shoulder. And that is that. Bye.